Let's have example number four. Evaluate the limit of 2x squared plus x minus 1 all over x cubed minus 3 as x approaches negative infinity. Okay, so again, let's try if we uh, evaluate the function at negative infinity, for sure this will give us, of course, a uh, a version of this this will be negative this will be positive so likely it will be infinity over infinity so regardless of the sign uh, again this is not the answer since this is in the indeterminate form okay so we are going to apply the theorem so in applying the theorem we simply multiply it with the highest power or highest degree x cubed minus 3 so let's uh, times again the highest power here it's not 2 but rather it's 3 okay we have cube so we will multiply it by 1 over x cube all over 1 over x cube again uh, since this is uh, a factor so we are going to multiply the same expression for the numerator and the denominator because we're just multiplying one. Okay, so again, this is just multiplying one. So using our uh, knowledge about distribution. Okay, so let's try to go down a bit. Okay, so let's distribute. Okay, so distributing 1 over x cubed to our 2x squared, this will give us, okay, this will give us 2 over x. Again, this is 2 over x because squared, x squared over x cubed. So squared will be cancelled out, then at the denominator, x will remain. Okay, then let's distribute here. So this will give us plus x over x cubed will be 1 over x squared. Then here, <clears throat> this will give us 1 over x cubed. Okay, all over... Hmm, where is it? Okay, here. Now, let's go to the denominator. Denominator, distribute also. So, x cubed times 1 over x cubed, this will give us... 1 minus 1 over x cubed times negative 3. This will just give us 3 over x cubed. Okay, and again, this is, uh, let's erase this uh, limit as x approaches negative infinity. So, regardless of the sign of the infinity here, we know that this will... So, a constant divided by x is just 2 times 1 over x. And remember our theorem, if it's 1 over x to the power of an integer, in this case, this is 1. Okay, so this is just 0. Okay, this is also 0. 1 over x squared is also 0. And, one, of course, 1 over x cubed is 0. So, here we have 1 minus 3 over x cubed will be 0. Okay, so let's try to simplify. So simplifying this, this will give us 0 plus 0 minus 0 all over 1 minus 0. And of course, this will give us 0 over 1. And remember, 0 over 1 is just 0. So the limit for this example is 0. Example number 5. So, limit of x to the power of 4 plus 2x minus 1 all over x squared minus 1 as x approaches positive infinity. Okay, so step 1, evaluate. So, trying to evaluate the function at positive infinity, for sure the numerator will be infinity. Okay, and 
of course the denominator infinity squared minus 1 is just infinity so again this is indeterminate this is not the answer so we are going to use the theorem so since we're using infinity we can use the theorem so we have limit uh, as x approaches positive infinity so again the rule is if it's infinity x is approaching infinity again we can only use the theorem if it's x approaching infinity so we are going to multiply our given by the highest uh, it's 1 over x and the exponent of x will be the highest exponent in this scenario our highest exponent is 4 so multiply by 1 over x to the power of 4 all over 1 over x to the power of 4 so if you multiplied something in the numerator you're also going to multiply the same value at the denominator okay so uh, let's try to distribute so using distribution we will have 1 over x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4 will be 1. Okay, so we have limit as x approaches positive infinity. We have 1 plus, okay, 2x times 1 over x to the power of 4 will give us 2 over x cubed. Okay, so again, the exponent of x is just 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3, x cubed. So it gives us x cubed minus so negative 1 times 1 over x to the power 4 is 1 over x to the power 4 okay so let's go to the denominator so in our denominator we have x squared minus 1 so distribute this will give us x squared over x to the power 4 okay then 4 minus 2 is just squared so we have x squared minus negative 1 times 1 over x squared is 1 over x to the power 4 okay then using our theorem so we are, we know that all the terms with a variable okay all the terms with a variable x is 0 so this is 0 okay so what remains uh, is sorry uh, where is it ah, okay so what remains is just 1 plus 0 plus 0 all over 0 minus 0 and this will give us 1 over 0 okay so what happens if the answer is 1 over 0 okay so we try to look at our given it seems that the numerator is larger compared to the denominator so this implies that our value our function is actually positive infinity okay so why positive infinity it's because uh, the zero here indicates that our numerator is our, our the value the value the entire value one divided by a very 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 small va value is approaching infinity in this scenario it's positive infinity and we're sure it's positive infinity because our value is approaching positive infinity okay and and again the uh, exponent is also our exponents are also even so we are sure that this is positive infinity.